determining equivalent resistance of two resistors connected in series. E. To determine the equivalent resistance of two resistors when connected in series. Apparatus Materials Principles or Theory Precautions Procedure Label the given resistors as R1 and R2. Draw a circuit diagram showing R1 in series with a rheostat, a DC milliameter, a plug key, a battery eliminator and a DC voltmeter connected across R1. Connect all the components according to the circuit diagram and switch on the circuit. Set the regulator of the variable DC power supply to obtain a low PD, say 0.2 volts. Switch on the current and gently adjust the slider of the rheostat to allow a current of small magnitude to pass through R1. Note down the readings of the two meters and then switch off the current. Observations and Calculations For potential difference 0.2 volts, a current of 10 milliamperes, that is 0.01 amperes, flows through the circuit. Calculate the value of R1 by applying Ohm's law. Here, R1 is equal to 0.2 upon 0.01 is equal to 20 ohms. Procedure Obtain one more set of readings by applying a different value of PD, say 0.6 volts. Observations and Calculations For potential difference 0.6 volts, a current of 30 milliamperes, that is 0.03 amperes, flows through the circuit. Now, calculate the value of R1 by applying Ohm's law. Here, R1 is equal to 0.6 upon 0.03 is equal to 20 ohms. Procedure Replace R1 with R2 in the circuit. Set the regulator of the variable DC power supply to obtain a low PD, say 0.6 volts, and switch on the current. Adjust the rheostat whenever necessary and obtain two sets of readings by applying different values of PD. Switch off the current. Observations and Calculations for potential difference 0.6 volts, a current of 10 milliamperes, that is 0.01 amperes, flows through the circuit. For potential difference 1.6 volts, a current of 30 milliamperes, that is 0.03 amperes, flows through the circuit. Now, calculate the value of R2 
by applying Ohm's law. For the first set of readings, R2 is equal to 0 0.6 upon 0 0.01 is equal to 60 ohms. For the second set of readings, R2 is equal to 1.6 upon 0 0.03 is equal to 53.3 ohms. Now, calculate the mean values of R1 and R2. Mean value of R1 is equal to 20 plus 20, the whole divided by 2, is equal to 20 ohms. Mean value of R2 is equal to 60 plus 53.3, the whole divided by 2, is equal to 56.66 ohms. Procedure Draw a circuit diagram showing R1 and R2 in series along with the other devices except the voltmeter which is connected across R1 and R2. Connect all the devices according to the circuit diagram and switch on the current. Proceed as before to obtain two different sets of readings and record them. Then switch off the current. Observations and Calculations For potential difference 0.8 volts, a current of 10 milliamperes, that is 0.01 amperes, flows through the circuit. For potential difference 2.2 volts, a current of 30 milliamperes, that is 0.03 amperes, flows through the circuit. Calculate the equivalent resistance RS of the two resistors in series. For the first set of readings, Rs is equal to 0 0.8 upon 0 0.01 is equal to 80 ohms. For the second set of readings, Rs is equal to 2.2 upon 0 0.03 is equal to 73.33 ohms. Mean value of Rs for the two set of readings in series is equal to Rs is equal to 80 plus 73.33 the whole divided by 2 is equal to 76.66 ohms 1. Verify that Rs is equal to R1 plus R2 Now Let's add the mean values of R1 and R2. R1 plus R2 is equal to 20 plus 56.66 is equal to 76.66 ohms. 2. From 1 and 2, Rs is equal to R1 plus R2. Procedure Disconnect the devices. Inferences Equivalent resistance of two resistors in series is equal to the sum of the value of the individual resistors in the circuit that is Rs is equal to R1 plus R2. Conclusions or results.